You've probably heard of expected goals or XG by now. It's been featured in the mainstream media a lot this season and is a measure of chance quality based on the likelihood of a goal being scored from a particular chance. Check the link below to find out more. We can use a similar methodology to calculate expected assists, which you might see represented as XA. As you know, an assist is the final pass that leads to a teammate scoring. However, that player is reliant on the pass he made being converted by the striker. One player could make six good passes, yet see none of them turn into shots by his teammates. On the other hand, a second player might make a fairly basic sideways pass outside of the 18-yard box and get rewarded for creating a goal-scoring opportunity. This doesn't truly reflect the quality of chances created by a player, so Opta have created expected assists to truly reflect who are the consistent creative players. By analysing millions of passes from thousands of games in our database, Opta have been able to assign a value to each completed pass, determining the likelihood of it becoming an assist. This means we can determine how many assists a player should have if his chances were converted at an average rate. The model is based on the finishing location of the pass, what type of pass it was, and a variety of other factors. It's important to note that this model is not reliant on whether a shot was taken from this pass. It credits all passes whether or not they end in a shot. If a player threads a great pass through to leave a striker one-on-one, -on -one, yet the striker doesn't get a shot away, the passing player still gets credit for the quality of his pass. To illustrate the model, this pass from David Silva to Raheem Sterling has an expected assist value of 31%, meaning that on average, one in every three passes like this will end in an assist. Historically, we can't credit David Silva with a chance created because Sterling doesn't manage to get a shot away, but we can credit him using the expected assist model. And this pass here from Tom Davis to Seamus Coleman has an expected assist value of 12%, meaning that about one in eight of passes like this result in an assist. So, what can expected assists show us? Well, it can tell us players who have been creating more chances than have been converted, and vice versa. This allows us to see players who are outperforming or underperforming against expectation, but also allows us to realise that a player who is performing above expected assists may regress to the mean at some point in the future. A good example of this is Riyad Mahrez. In Leicester's remarkable title winning season, Mahrez assisted 11 goals as the chances he created were converted at an above average rate. According to our figures, Mahrez could have expected around eight assists based on the quality of chances he created. In the following campaign, it was a different story. Leicester's forwards stopped converting at the unsustainable rate they had been in 2015-16, and Mahrez ended with three assists, though his expected assists should have been almost double. Over the course of those two seasons, Mahrez assisted 14 goals, and the model expected him to assist 13.3, basically meaning that the chances he created were being converted at a consistent rate. A club looking at Mahrez could use this model to project a more realistic figure for assists going forward than one season in isolation before deciding to buy.